according to the Philippine Tourism Statistics, there are 1,148,072 visitors arrival for the first three months of 2012, which increases 16.3% from last year's arrival, which is 989,501. Anybody here been to the Philippines for that specific time? Well, if not, uh, maybe in the future you plan to go and visit my country and everybody is welcome there. And by the way, I am Lysel No, I am a natural born Filipino and I lived there for 28 years. And my topic for today is all about uh, the Philippine sceneries. The purpose of my speech is to inform you that Philippines has different sceneries that visited by tourists. And I would like you to consider my three main points, which is uh, the location of the Philippine sceneries, the cost of living or accommodation, and the cost of medical care. Philippines is an archipelago, which is made up of 7,107 islands, which divided into three geographical regions, which is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I have some, I have some pictures of different sceneries here, like um, the Banawi Rice Terraces, which is located in Ifugao Province, Philippines. This is a handmade um, rice field, and it's a uh, stairways formed to the top of the mountain. And the next one is uh, Puerto Princesa Underground River. This is located in Palawan, Philippines, and this is the longest navigable river in the world. And the next one is 1,268 chocolate hills in, in Bohol. This will turn brown during the summer and green during rainy days. And next one is Boracay Beach. This is uh, located in Aklan Province, Philippines. And this is the most uh, famous uh, crystal beach in the country. And the next one is Leyte Landing or MacArthur Park. Uh, this is located in Palo Leyte, where General Douglas MacArthur landed in the Philippines and liberated the country from Japanese invaders. And next one is East Maria Cristina Falls. This is located in Iligan City, Philippines. And this is the source of electric power in the island of Mindanao. And now that I told you about and show you the picture of some of the Philippine sceneries in the Philippines, I would like you to consider the value of a dollar. In one dollar, according to the foreign exchange.com, uh, last June 23, 2012, the value of a dollar is uh, 42 pesos and 49.89 cents. Uh, so if you have 23 dollars and 53 cents, you have 1,000 pesos in the Philippines. And depending on where you live, where you want to stay, if you want to stay in a high class hotel, then you will pay an expensive one. And if you want to stay in an economy hotel, you will pay $20 from $20 to $150. And they offer also this package deal in Boracay accommodation, which is 4,500 pesos, which is uh, almost more or less $110 in America. And this is free food, uh, free transportation, and free drinks. And now that I uh, show you the cost of living or accommodation in the Philippines, uh, I would like to explain to you the cost of medical care in the Philippines. Um, since 2004, Philippines introduced the PMTP, Philippine Medical Tourism Program. Um, this is introduced to have a low dental care, low cost of um, uh, cosmetic plastic surgery and medical treatment like uh, kidney surgeries and many other and if you are interested with this you can uh, visit in their website philippinemedicaltourism.info and you don't have to worry about medical malpractice because they have uh, we have a Republic Act 9173 to protect patients from medical negligence and incompetence from criminal uh, physicians and I would like to remind you that my topic today is Philippine, about Philippine sceneries and uh, uh, I would like to inform you that I am qualified for this because I'm natural born Filipino and I would like to re remind you that if you would like a vacation, you are welcome in the Philippines. And my uh, number one source of my, of my uh, speech is the Philippine uh, Medical, uh, Philippine Department of Tourism and Philippine uh, Medical Tourism Incorporated. Thank you for being here tonight.